Uchu and I were talking, and, well... Uchu, what's on your mind? The day of Edsley's coronation is approaching. Soon he will be a man and take the first steps towards becoming Paititi's future king. Oh, that sounds like a day to look forward to. It's the hope for that day that keeps a lot of us fighting Amaru and his cult. Sometimes we all need to remember what we're fighting for. Is there something I can help you with? When Edsley's father, Sairi, died, Unaratu bestowed the honor of surrogate father onto me. One of my duties is to gather three sacred items for the ceremony, but... But with all that's happening right now, you aren't able to. What are these items? They are the Savior's amulet, the champion's bow, and the king's horn. Each a blessing from the ancestors of the future king. Tell me what you need, and I'll see what I can do. I already have men retrieving the amulet and bow, but if you could find Kabil, the instrument maker, and get the king's horn from him, he would be doing us a great favor. He's been difficult. I sent two men and both have failed. Perhaps you could talk to his wife. I think I can manage that. Be mindful. Kabil can be prickly sometimes, but Abra, his wife, has a way of dulling his edges. Last to leave and first to return. Jonah's stories of you are true. The King's Horn, as requested. Did Kabir give you any trouble? You were right about his wife. She definitely had a way with his heart. Thank you for this, Lara. Of course. Uchu, what did you mean, last to leave and first to return? The men I have retrieving the other two items, they both left three days ago. Neither has returned. Do you think something's happened to them? It's Quentin that concerns me the most. He's young, likes to take risks. Jumps into the water before checking to see how deep it is. I know the type. Jonah. Jonah's right. That describes Quenty perfectly. I never should have sent Quenty to that damn place. Mm, what place is that? The old sister. It's where the remains of Manko are kept hidden from the cult. Who is Manko? He was a farmer who led Sairi and Amaru's ancestors out of Cusco to safety centuries ago. He is known as the peasant savior. It's his amulet we need for the coronation. Why was Manko hidden away? Manko's followers were known as the Order of the Peasant Savior. This rebellion was born from it. When the cult of Kukulkan first took power, they tried to wipe out the Order. Manko was hidden away in a secret place and kept safe. But over time, as the Order dwindled, the memory of that place has faded. If you like, I could go look for Quenti. You've done a lot already. Bringing back the King's Horn was a big gesture of friendship. I don't mind, really. Maybe Quenty can show me the best cliffs to jump off. Please don't encourage him. The entrance to the cistern is a cave above the white tree. Follow the trail, it'll lead you to it. There's the entrance.
<coughs> no one's been through here in centuries. This has to be the right place. Manko's resting place. This looks suspicious. This looks like a procession of the dead. It's the order hiding Manko from the cult of Kukul Khan. Hello, Manko. Now, to get this back to Uchu. There's light coming through this wall. Another sealed off passageway, I bet. Yeah. <laughs> 
Ah, uh, Laura, I'm glad you're back safely. Quinty returned shortly after you left. In one piece, but empty-handed, I'm afraid. He's safe. That's the important thing. <sighs> I wish we could say the same for Zan. Kukul Khan curses his coronation, I swear it. Zan? Is he the other man you sent out? Yes, he was looking for the champion's bow. A group of hunters just pulled his body from the wilderness. Uchu, I'm sorry about your friend. If there is some good news in all of this, I did find the savior's amulet. What? You did? Lara, that's incredible. Here. Thank you. Lara, I hate to ask you, but... But, would I go and get the champion's bow? It's a lot to ask. This is the most difficult of the items to retrieve. Zan was one of our best. May I ask what makes this bow so special? Queen Unaratu's ancestors carved it from the first Seba tree to grow in the wilderness outside the city. It has been handed down through generations. She bestowed it upon Sairi, Etzli's father, on their wedding day. It joins the two families together, but it was lost many years ago, taken by the Nahual. The Nahual? That's someone who has the power to transform into an animal, right? Yes. This one stalks the jungle outside the city. Envious, it tricks Sairi into giving it the bow. Edsley is the rightful heir of the champion's bow. Without it, he cannot be king. Okay, point the way. Thank you. You will find the entrance directly across from here, up the shore of the river. Don't worry, I'll do my best to get the bow. This must be the jungle entrance. Not very inviting, but I suspect that's the point. You go first. First. I'm not going in there at all. Did you see the guy they pulled out of there? What was left of him? Come on, just to the top of the path. If it's anywhere, I'll bet the champion's bow is in there.
All right, let's get this bow back to Chu. The champion's bow. The final piece to herald in the future of Pai Titi. And what of the Nakwa? Did you face it? I did. It's dead. Tell me, what shape did it take? It was a jaguar. Ah, the most powerful of its forms. It must have seen you as a formidable foe. Uchu, how long has this Noal been in the jungle? As children, there were always stories to keep us from straying beyond the bounds of Pai Titi. But since Amaru took power, the Nakwa has been more active. You believe Amaru commands an owl? Yes, to keep his hands on our throats, but no longer. You have done a great thing for the future of Paititi, Lara. I would be honored if you would join us for the ceremony of kings. The honor would be mine. Here, I have something for you. This is from the armor Etsli's father, Sairi, wore. It is a symbol of your bravery. I would like you to have it. Thank you, Uchu. Son of Unuratu, son of Sairi, step forth. Within the Savior's amulet is the wisdom of your ancestors. Listen to it, so that you will enjoy in equity and mercy in all judgments. Within the champion's bow is the strength of your ancestors. Respect it, so that you will enjoy in responsibility and fairness in leadership. Finally, within you, young Etsli is the future. Infuse your role as king with action. Create hope. Create love. Not by passively waiting for grace to come down from up on high, but by doing what you can to make grace happen yourself. People of Pai Titi, it is with great pride that I introduce to you Etsli. Son of Unuratu, son of Sairi, and your king! <laughs> <laughs> 